Hello, viewers. Welcome to Bharat Shakti Norton. I'm Brigadier Chatterjee. We're going to be talking about the Kargil War once again. But this time it's with a difference. It's not about guns. It's not about the infantry climbing up those steep slopes, facing the enemy fire. But it is about those men and women who were behind these boys at the front end. One of them is Colonel Rajesh Adhavu, who was a regimental medical officer of a battalion which went in for one of these operations. Uh, welcome to Bharat Shakti Doctrine, Colonel. Thank you, sir. Well, it's, uh, well, it's nice to have you with us and nice to, uh, I would say it will be a nice change for our viewers also to see somebody other than an infantryman or an artillery gunner really talking about Kargil war. We are extremely kind of you to have decided to join us today. Uh, Colonel Rajesh, you are a doctor uh, and you were with uh, a particular battalion. Can you tell us uh, a little bit about yourself? How much service did you have at that time? Which was this battalion that you were operating with? And which are the areas in which this battalion operated? Uh, sir, uh, thank you very much, sir, for uh, getting me in the show. And this is the 25th year of anniversary of Kargil Vijay Divas. And for me, it is uh, just uh, yesterday. So I was RMO with the 13th Jammu and Kashmir Rifles, bravest of the Brave Battalion. Where initially I was posted uh, as RMO in Sopur, sir, that area near uh, uh, Srinagar. And then during the war, uh, I was with the battalion whole uh, uh, complete war in Dras sector and as well as Mashko sector, sir. Okay, we are going to be talking mostly about absolute front end fighting today and how you as an Army Medical Corps man really supported your battalion there and you must have been a critical support uh, to be actually talking about it. Uh, tell me something, how far forward is a regimental medical officer to start with? I think that's a question that I would like an answer from you. Uh, how far forward were you with these boys? Uh, I'm talking about the leading sections of the battalion. I'm talking about the leading platoons of the battalion. Where were you located? Sir, actually, uh, actually speaking, sir, when uh, there was an order for going for the war, so my then commanding officer told the battalion how to go about it and he motivated the battalion like anything. So he said anything anybody wanted to tell. Then I said, Ki, sir, I wanted to say something. So I told my jawans, Ki, just don't worry about the, any injury. Vis-a-vis uh, -vis apart from head injury, whatever the injury, I will be there with you within the five meter of distance and I will save you once I will be there. So when I crossing the Jojila, I asked uh, my nursing assistant, one of the nursing assistant, I said, Ki, ladai pe karni hai humne? he said, Ki, yes, sir, this is a ladai. Because initially I thought it is a plane ladai, then uh, we'll go for the ambulance and pick up the casualties and uh, like that. Then he said, Ki, nahi, nahi, sir, ladai to yahan pe kargil mein, pahadiyo mein ho rahi hai. Then I said, Ki, okay. Then I decided and I told my CEO, Ki, I don't want to sit uh, down. As per uh, doctor uh, says, ki doctor is uh, established the RAP as close as uh, possible. That means fire base of the any battalion or uh, uh, like that. And when the platoon or company assault, the doctor will not go generally with them. So I decided nay. I told the jawan I will be there. So I volunteer and I said, ki, sir, I wanted to go ahead with the troops. So, so whenever the, uh, there was a attack or ladai, I was among them. Whatever the people, 10, 15 people go and attack initially. So I was among them 10, 15 uh, person to treat the casualty then and there. And at the, both the sector in Dras as well as uh, Moscow, that point. Q13 Jakrib uh, assaulted two uh, fronts. Sir. One in Dras, 0 0.5140 after uh, Tolering and Hamberia. And in Mashko sector, that is 0.4875. So I was the, among the leading troops as close as possible so that whenever there is an injury, I will treat them there and there. Sir. See, uh, and where was the regimental aid post RAP, like you said? Where was it established? It was established a little more to the rear, and you sent the casualties back after immediately doing whatever you could at the site. 
was that the uh, way no, of sir, working? What, no, what I what I did as a preparation of a war, sir. I trained my battlefield nursing assistant, sir, and I told everybody. कि इन प्लाटून कमांडर्स इन ऑफिसर्स एवरी वन हैविंग द सम सॉर्ट ऑफ अ मेडिसिन सर आई केप देयर इन पॉकेट अपार्ट फ्रॉम द शेल ड्रेसिंग एंड फर्स्ट फील्ड ड्रेसिंग आई केप द सम इंपॉर्टेंट मेडिसिन विद देम आई टोल्ड देम कि जस्ट डोंट वरी आई विल बी देयर जस्ट आस्क मी व्हाट टू डू ड्यूरिंग दैट टाइम व्हाट टू टेक द मेडिसिन सर सो एज सच विद द 13 जकरीब आई डिडंट मेक द आरएपी एज अ I know eight post. I was uh, there in uh, wherever there is a casualty. I was there uh, with them. So what I did? Why my uh, unit casualty is less? Well, I did a staging camp. Sir, first is the distribution of medical uh, medicine kit to everybody near about everybody. Treated the battlefield nursing assistant, trained the initially to train them. Then train in body care, and uh, then. i uh, there was a staging camps for the fetching of the ammunition up so i used that staging camp as a evacuation camp whenever there is a casualty i kept every uh, battlefield nursing assistant to every uh, staging camp so that i uh, instruct them give this injection give uh, readjust this bandage and i evacuate the casualty from the top but first i treated the casualty there i given uh, uh, main what what is in a type of injury in war actually speaking the main is the splinter injuries the artificially and gunshot injury and both the injury causes lot of bleeding so you have to arrest the bleeding give the moral support ki nahi bhai maine hath lagaya abhi kuch nahi hoga aapko ab marenge nahi and with the proper dressing stop after stoppage of bleeding giving him some comfort moral uh, boost and evacuated them to the rear ward rear ward means that uh, ads ads generally uh, was the uh, uh, hill base for example in uh, ads was in dras second ads was in mashkonala so ads is advanced dressing center so we uh, send the casualties there and for the mountaineers they are very difficult to evacuate the casualty it require at least for 8 to 10 hours sometimes uh, 15 hours because there was a continuous shelling shelling from our side shelling from uh, enemy side so it is very very difficult so i use that staging camp and every stage they get some medicine then evacuated uh, down below and once they reach in ads there is no problem and uh, then the, there are doctor teams and uh, they will take care normally what you hear in you know, one of the teaching is that when you are actually attacking if there is an injury you go ahead and you are actually your priority is to go and finish the uh, task go and capture the objective so that means you were trying to say that during the operation itself the evacuation was going on continuously backwards also of whatever casualties were happening no sir no you are absolutely right sir whenever there is attack casualty i was there i kept casualty readjusting their uh, bleeding and uh, the stoppage of their bleeding keep there the casualty till the attack is over after the attack is over i used to evacuate the casualty after the attack is over sir so, right ha ji sir because during the attack you the all concentration towards the attack and towards the success sir so everybody no. is involved in uh, forward okay <laughs> no uh, like you've already said you know evacuating a casualty in those mountains is very difficult i am not just talking about the shelling but even when there was no shelling let us say you can, can you can hardly bring a stretcher down down those steep slopes etc so what how was the how were the casualties really being evacuated man, man when they were being carried or they were being whatever oh. possible on a stretcher how were they doing it and where was the manpower for that coming so, yeah, from you from Hi, sir. And uh, this this question asked me so many people, sir. So what I did that during the uh, war, sir. You know, sir, war as per books and everything, they say that uh, injection morphine is the best analgesic, and you give it that. That that's there, sir. But whenever there is a casualty, for example, uh, leg casualty, single leg casualty, gun gunshot wound in thigh or gun, uh, knee injury, one leg. So I used to give the different type of analgesic. not uh, uh, that what book says and giving the uh, antibody dose uh, initially 
and arrest their breeding and i sent this walking wounded uh, one leg casualty with the two people to the another staging camp and staging camp people is not fighters they are the fighting porters they are bringing the ammunition from the up they are dumping there and going back empty handed and while going empty handed they take us this casualty to the rear ward sir that i make, i make the planning like that sir so the my maximum casualty this is a very difficult sir to bringing down so lying casualty whatever the serious casualty what we used to do the, from staging camp 1 to staging camp 2 then i request down below in i want a hepter because without hepter it can't possible uh, to reach the casualty down and after the attack is over then they used to you know send the hepters depending on the air severity and uh, uh, location and uh, that serious casualty of lying casualty they used to take from the hepter till the stage 1 stage 2 we have to take the casualty downwards with the uh, six people or seven people sir if the stretcher bound casualty no uh, you giving the medical treatment so far forward uh, would have had a tremendous impact as i see on the morale of the troops who were going up really so uh, what do you have to say about it what was your personal experience of it sir that 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 that's absolutely right sir because i see in the casualties i seen the casualty the uh, one uh, our other mayor singh sir and uh, we are going forward and there was uh, some artisan explode uh, near his uh, platoon and his uh, hand was uh, blown up from the elbow he was asking me in that condition ki my elbow is there or not my elbow is i treated him there in intense firing sir while attack going on 0.5140 this casualty happened and uh, the, the temperature was uh, near about minus my iv lines were frozen then uh, my commanding officer said in rajesh no lighten up so we used to uh, keep coat parka on the two three stones uh, boulders and niche mein wo thodi aag jalata tha apna jo emergency stove milta hai then uh, used to uh, hotten up that uh, iv line maine uske pair ko saline lagaya my bf ne given the different different type and we keep up him bp up till the time morning when there was a success attack in 0.5140 then we asked the hepter till tolerating and tolerating pick up that casualty that person is still there the same like uh, such type of casualties you know we how the difficulty was there but the when you see the doctor is there my doctor is the, there to treat me so automatically morale of the troops goes up and uh, i assure them कि वंस आई टच यू कि मैं आपको मरने नहीं दूंगा सो आई थिंक दैट मेक्स अ लॉट ऑफ डिफरेंस विद माय 13 जैकेट्स नो एंड द पॉइंट इज लुक आई मीन इफ द कैजुअलिटी कीप्स लाइंग विद यू फॉर फार टू लॉन्ग इट हैज अ परहैप्स अ नेगेटिव इंपैक्ट इंपैक्ट एंड सिंस यू आर सो सो मच अप फ्रंट दैट एवरीबॉडी न्यू व्हाट्स रियली हैपनिंग टू द कैजुअलिटी परहैप्स यू वुड हैव बीन इन पेन एंड यू वुड हैव बीन शाउटिंग आल्सो सो इट वुड हैव अ नेगेटिव इंपैक्ट ऑन द मोरल ऑफ द पीपल हु आर really going up for the next attack so this must have helped in uh, building the morale quite a bit and the, what, what do you think is the impact of uh, getting casualties faster down below in such circumstances sir sir that that the that's that actually in my battalion as far as my battalion is concerned that that morale is actually really high i used to say ki abhi kuch nahi hoga yaar hai na tu mere paas aa gaya so instead of crying and uh, yelling from the pain they used to laugh and once they reach me i take to the rear ward and then morale of the troop is really high during that time also nobody i seen with my battalion say ki hame aage nahi jana hai ye nahi karna hai and they were absolutely i remember each and every word of their they are no looking back sir they say ki just first clear the objective and then we will see sir. your battalion is famous for parambit chakra batra uh, and uh, did, did you have any chance to interact with him before he went for a ah, yes, attack my battalion having a two parambit chakra sir vikram batra and uh, sanjay kumar so uh, what was the interaction line if you can recall something from your interactions with him uh sir he was a very uh, enthusiastic uh, officer when we are uh, acclimatizing he say ki sir humne aise attack karna hai hum aise attack karke aayenge dushman ko mar ke aayenge he was uh, 
really very strong type we used to call them we click the photograph by ajay jasrutia vikram batra sanjeev jamwal everybody and uh, even ajay says ki sir pata nahi is photo mein se kon rahega iske baad nahi rahega like that when we did the attack in point 5140 and uh, after coming back uh, point 5140 to dras and uh, he was to, uh, happy like anything yes we did it like that and that's why they dil mange more and all he said ki nahi we will go to another line when at the during the attack of 4875 the i remember uh, distinctly ki somebody come to me and call me near about evening 6:30 or so and he say ki uh, batra sahab ne aapko bulaya so i was just uh, you know 15 meter down and uh, vikram was up and i was another uh, 50 meter down to the another border boulder so i uh, shouted to him मतलब विक्रम यू नो सुबह से मैं कैजुअलिटी इवेक्यूट कर रहा हूँ आई वॉज टायर्ड है ना आई एम नॉट कमिंग टू यू है ना टेल मी वॉट एम सो ये से कि नहीं नहीं सर मैंने इसको यही पूछने के लिए भेजा था कि डॉक्टर साहब को बोलो कि कौन सी मेडिसिन खानी है बिकॉज आई टोल्ड यू कि ऑलरेडी दे हैव द मेडिसिन इन देयर पॉकेट दे जस्ट है टू आस्क मी कि सर इसमें से कौन सी मेडिसिन खानी है सो यू नो ये से कि सर मुझे थोड़ा थोड़ा हेडेक हो रहा है बिकॉज दैट हाइट वॉज फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड प्लस एंड आई से कि Nothing to worry. This is the due to the lack of oxygen, and just take the vitamin C tablet. What I kept in their pocket, and you will feel better. Just don't worry. And if you are not okay, then call me. I will come. And I just uh, not to worry because there is hardly any distance to go to the Vikram. But he said, "Sir, no, no, sir. I have a little bit headache." I remember this. Then next day morning, early morning, three three thirty or four, Captain Navin and three more casualties come to me. i was treating the captain navin nagappa his uh, both the legs were shattered uh, due to the grenade blast in between the both the legs i was bandaging them i was giving him injection i was talking to him but he was crying 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 so i said ki yaar why you are crying when uh, there is no pain i given a two uh, pain killers instead of one there is no pain and i was you know bandaging him i was instructing the other patient what to do like that and after completion complete bandage and everything he told me ki uh, sir vikram is no more then i ran towards uh, where the vikram was there so that he said that's why i didn't told you sir earlier i know ki aap udhar ja bhagoge pehle aur uh, mera treatment aap iske upar matlab jo bhi mera nursing and better fit nursing tha shiva karke tha that time sipai hai na he was always with me to aap usko chhodoge isliye maine aapko pehle bataya nahi because he is no more so i ran towards the vikram and i seen his face and he his face was not even pale and you know? he is just a laughing face i seen and everybody was crying every battalion was shattered and uh, just uh, i said ki vikram what you do it did and jab maine usko uthaya hai na rakhne ke liye sleeping bag mein and to usko back mein mera hath pura ka pura uska back mein chala gaya there was no backbone at all so then i ask uh, ki seen how the casualty has happened so one bullet uh, you know he hit one bullet in chest and when he uh, bowed up towards the bunker the rpg blast came and his backbone was you know blown up so that was my last uh, interaction and what i seen uh, vikram there and of course he was a very very brave officer and uh, very you know, Uh, used to volunteer to go everywhere first and first like that. Uh, so you are supposed to be giving the same kind of treatment uh, uh, in case there is an enemy soldier who is injured or killed, whatever be the state of affairs. Did you come across any such incident when uh, Pakistan is possibly left behind somebody uh, after you? Not, not at the top, sir. at the top always we kill the enemy and i seen uh, so many killed enemy and uh, when i came back to the gumri and at that time uh, there was a 408 field hospital and when i visited that field hospital so uh, then that, that 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 time there was one soldier and they were treating him so i seen and we as a doctor sir we always treat the patient whatever is the so enemy or soldier if he is in front of me he is firing bullet towards me then i have to fire the bullets to save myself 
but whenever he is injured and he come to the doctors uh, like me or any other doctor we have to you know treat him sir. so you did that in case uh, uh, there was an opportunity or you would do that right right any other incident that you would like to uh, narrate or any other aspect that you would like to talk about ah uh, sir i always say ki till the 25 years i am uh, gone through and uh, i remember each and every aspect of my 13 jacri brave soldiers and even uh, they also some say ki doctor saab to pata nahi pani ki injection lagate the hame hai na but whatever hai na they got us down i seen a one patient uh, ki he came uh, while going He said that I said I told him, "Look, na, I na, mar ke aana dushmano ko, I na, mar ke nii aana." He said that sir, you have not seen my bravery. I na, look, na, I will not come like that. One will kill me, one will not come back like that. And after 30 minutes, he came back to my post, I na, with bleeding and all. I said that what happened? You told me you will not come back like this. So what happened, sir? That one bullet, uh, first bullet hits his right shoulder. So he said ki i was fighting with my left hand then second bullet hits his abdomen and he stuck up in that magazine and it didn't uh, went through his abdomen he stuck up that in spring of the magazine that in the abdomen and third bullet hits him in the left shoulder and then he said ki sir my both the hands uh, was not working so i have to come back like this like this uh, brave shoulder one patient came with you know so much of bleeding Well, his uh, you know shirt and uh, even his pant was on the blood everywhere so i told shiva ki look towards the some blood uh, very very the injury and he was uh, you know kept his hand on the nose and mouth and he was just uh, crying matlab in pain of course so we seen from i i started from the head to tear the abdomen i told shiva to go from uh, from leg to upward there was no injury at all then i said uh, with uh, some hai na mere awaaz badi karke maine like yaar haath nikal yaar tu muh se bata kahan laga hua hai so what was the bullet was pierced from his this nose and this nose was totally blown out so what he did the, he uh, put the dressing inside the nose and uh, he closed his nose like this so he was not in able to talk okay, where was the injury and uh, then we readjust the dressing stop the bleeding and today he has a plastic nose middle uh, artificial nose still and still i remember such type of injury one there was a ram and i used to say he came to me matlab like, sir sar mein lagi hai goli that was there are so many casualties i said ki okay sar mein lagi to aise hai better hai so he said ki sir main nahi tere naam mein ram likha hua hai there will no nothing happen to you because i know he is talking and he is ek sar mein goli lagi hai to that mean ki okay hai na there is no problem at all So what happened? The bullet just, you know, pierces skull and not injured as much. There is the only line, and just you say that goli lucky guy is, and he was absolutely fine. So once I seen what you asked me about the uh, enemy soldier also, I also thank enemy soldier. There was a 13-14 casualty at a hump area, and uh, when I uh, climb that area, I was not trained to climb the ice wall. so instead of 5 10 minutes i took nearly 30 minutes to reach that uh, location with the you know climbing and making stairs on that ice wall when i was dressing of one of the jawan there there was one pakistan casualty lying there so there was so much of bombarding going on from their side our side and while i was teaching behind the one small stone ke the safer place and yahan pe nahi aayega the splinter so suddenly something hits my bum jahan pe main baitha tha zor se to i said ki oh ab to gaya mujhe bhi lag gaya tha and uh, i seen that was a hand of that pakistani soldier ya artisan se uska hand matlab jo dead hua tha already soldier uska hand lag ke mujhe ekdam zor se laga i said ki thank god wo hand ne mujhe bachaya otherwise that may be the splinter So such such thing happens in war, sir. And I thanks my jawan. I gone through I gone through the battlefield and uh, goliya, sir. Both sorry. And 
आई कंसिडर माय सेल्फ व्हेरी लकी बीइंग दैट वॉर कि माय सेल्फ आई सेड टू थ्री टाइम्स इन द वॉर एंड देन आई थॉट कि नहीं अभी मुझे कोई नहीं मार सकता अगर मैं दो बार बचा हूं इतने इंटेंस गोलियों से तो अभी नहीं मैं मर सकता सो आई वाज ऑलवेज ऑन द फ्रंट इट्स वेरी नाइस टू सी सो मच ऑफ प्राइड इन यू कर्नल फॉर हैविंग टेकन पार्ट विद दिस इन्फेंट्री बटालियन इन इट्स ऑपरेशंस जस्ट वन लास्ट क्वेश्चन आर यू मेंटेनिंग योर रिलेशनशिप विद द बटालियन इवन नाउ Yes, sir, sir. I was very close relationship with battalion. Every day they are sending me the different, different types of photographs that day, memories, and uh, I feel very proud myself. They speak very nice. They said that he always they said that sir, this life is because of you. So I, I am, I am really very lucky, sir. Be a part of 13 jackets. Well, uh, thank you, Colonel. Thank you so much for having spared the time for Bharat Shakti, and that too, you are in Congo, and we are talking on the net. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, Jain sir. Jain, and thank you, viewers. Thanks for tuning on to Bharat Shakti. Dot in. Do tune in like this now and then, and you will find interesting stories like this. Thank you. <laughs>